Hello, I have this Xbox One since many years ago and I think it's time to tear down for cleaning and replacing the thermal paste. For beginning the tear down, I firstly have to remove the seal. Using a filler gauge, I press the clips so I can remove the side cover. I remove the plate which makes the click for the drive bay. And now I push the left side, which is the top cover, and I pull the right side, which is the bottom cover. With the filler gauge I tried to press the other clips from the back of the console. Now I can remove the top cover, but there's a ribbon cable, so I have to disconnect it before completely removing it. I disconnect the wireless cable and the speaker cable. Using the Torx T8, I remove the two screws which holds the wireless card. With the Torx T10, I remove all 8 black screws marked with C letter, which holds the console with the bottom cover. The bottom cover is removed so I can focus on the console without covers. Now before completely removing the top metal plate I have to disconnect the wireless connector from the motherboard.
Now I disconnect the hard disk drive and the Blu-ray drive. With both removed using a Torx T8, there are three black screws for the front board. I unplug the cooler fan so I can turn the console upside down and remove the last remaining screws. With a Torx T8 there are 4 screws for the cooler radiator and another 4 grey screws. Now I can completely remove the motherboard from its bottom cover and I deal with the X clamp. By pulling it on one side it will open on the opposite side. I remove the cooler from the radiator so I can clean it better. I also remove the old thermal paste from both the radiator and the CPU. With a soft brush I clean the motherboard. And with rubbing alcohol I clean most of other parts of the console. Now I apply the new thermal paste so I can assemble it back.
I've put the radiator back in its place and now I can put back the cooler fan and connect it to the motherboard. I start by screwing the four screws which holds the radiator then the other four grey screws. Now I clean all the remaining parts so I can finish the assembly. I put the front board and all remaining parts back in their place. All 8 screws marked with C letter.
I connect the wireless card and the speaker to the front board. Now it's time to put back the wireless card with its two screws, then I'm ready to put back the top cover. But I firstly reconnect the ribbon cable and I'm making sure it's properly connected. I start from the front, then I close the back. Now I put back the plate in its place and I close the side cover. This is the Xbox One, completely cleaned and with thermal paste replaced. The Xbox One is behaving great, no high temp and no noise at all. I was actually surprised how silent this console can be. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.